The Mystery of the Bermuda Triangle Solved. Well, I think I've solved it. Many people have theorised regarding the, uh, the Bermuda Triangle. But I think what I'm going to show you in a minute is quite telling. And of course, space is wrapped up in this mystery. But it's the timelines we're interested in here. Pay particular attention to the date. On this day in space. In 1950, the very first rocket to ever launch from Cape Canaveral blasted off into space. The Bumper 2 was an experimental two-stage rocket that could fly as high as 250 miles above the Earth. It was topped with a V-2 missile base with a WAC corporal rocket. It launched under the direction of the General Electric Company. At the time, NASA was not yet established. The mission's purpose was to test new rocket technologies and collect data about Earth's upper atmosphere. And that's what happened on this day in space. So on the 24th of July, 1950, the first ever rocket took off from the Cape. Quite a few people think that most of the rockets taken off from the Cape end up in the drink in the Bermuda Triangle area. And that the story regarding the Bermuda Triangle was sold to us to put fear in our hearts and keep people out of that area, enabling NASA and whoever else before them to fire their rockets into that area where no one would see them. And this is where it gets really interesting when we look, like I said just now, at the timelines. Remember, the first rocket launch from the Cape was the 24th of July, 1950, okay? So I'm over at Wiki. The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, is an urban legend focused loosely on a loosely defined region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean, where a number of aircraft and ships are said to have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. The idea of the area as a unique prone to disappearance arose in the mid 20th century, but most reputable sources dismiss the idea that there is any mystery whatsoever. And I agree. I think the whole thing's a cover story for the American government and their rockets. And when we scroll down here to Origins, it gets rather revealing. I don't know about yourself, but I was under the impression the myth, the legend of the Bermuda Triangle was hundreds of years old. But when we come down to origins, this gets, like I said, rather revealing. The earliest suggestions of unusual disappearances in the Bermuda area appeared in a September the 17th, 1950 article published in the Miami, in the, sorry, in the Miami Herald. So just under two months after the first rocket took off from Cape Canaveral, the myth, the legend, that is the Bermuda Triangle, was being pushed in the mainstream media for the very first time. I find that incredibly telling. What that tells me, their rocket launches from the Cape ticked the right boxes to push this fraud that is going to take place and as a result the legend the myth that is the bermuda triangle was born and pushed slowly but surely through the media through our tele television screens through the papers and gained momentum and as a result would keep people out of that area enabling rascals to do rather naughty deeds uh, let me just finish this if there's any more in this article ah yes some people are going to cry out, what about Flight 19? Well, we're going to address Flight 19, okay? Now, what we're told about Flight 19 is this training mission in 1945 conducted by the US military. These planes went missing over the Bermuda Triangle. That's what we've been told and that's what's been sold to us in the media. Again, to push the Bermuda Triangle myth. But when we look at their last known location on the map, and you can see it there, located. And then we compare it to where the Bermuda Triangle is. We can see that Flight 19 wasn't even in the Bermuda Triangle when its last known location was tracked. Yes, their mission did involve cutting across 
part of the Bermuda Triangle, but their last known location, they were nowhere near the Bermuda Triangle. So that's just destroyed that myth. Looking at a map of the major shipping routes and zooming in in the Florida Cape area, we can see there are large areas there, large enough to entertain these rockets landing in the drink without anyone actually seeing it. So to finish up, I think the whole Bermuda Triangle myth legend was pushed by the American government to help them push their space narrative and, of course, sell the globe lie. Done very clever, put fear into the public's minds, keep them out of a certain area, enabling the American government to control that said area a lot easier, enabling them to land their rockets in the drink and get away with their silly narrative. Very clever when you think about it. I'm not so sure that's where the rockets are going these days. But I'm pretty sure that's where they were going back in the day and quite possibly still could be. Anyone who's going to cite any other incident in that area, whether it be maritime incident or a military incident, I'm not interested. Any area that has a long history of maritime or a long history of military presence, like Florida does, there's bound to be a history of shipwrecks or military accidents and incidents. Okay? That's the same across the earth. Percentages and hist history tell us this. Okay? The bottom line is the myth of the Bermuda Triangle first was pushed upon the general public seven weeks after the first rocket ever took off from Cape Canaveral. I find that and the timelines incredibly telling. Have a good one, everyone.